So hello everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to a new FIFA 21 video on my channel. In this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with the national team of Belgium, in my opinion of course at this moment. I'm going to show you the best formation, lineup, tactics and instructions. So if you want to try it out yourself, watch the whole video, set everything up the same like I did because if you are missing things like the tactics or the instructions if you only take the formation and the lineup it could be that it doesn't work that good so make sure you will watch it all and set it up the same like I did uh, let me know in the comments if you tried it out what you think of it what your results are I'm really curious about that also I want to thank you very much for watching please drop a like under the video if you think this video is useful for you if you are new to my channel, make sure you will subscribe to my channel. It's free to do, so why shouldn't you do it? I'm doing lots of tactic videos like this for other teams, for other clubs, for other international teams. I'm doing tutorial videos and also some videos with some gameplay in it. So if you want to see me playing, make sure you will hit that subscribe button. So now we're going to start with the formation. It's a 4-4-2 flat formation. We're going to the lineup. Courtois is the goalkeeper. Uh, Meunier is the right defender, Alderweireld and De Neer are the centre-backs and Castagne is the left defender. I know it's a bit weird maybe because he's a right and left midfielder, but yeah, Belgium doesn't have a really good option on the left of the defence. They don't have a left defender in their squad at the moment. You can put Vertongen there. Uh, but he has only 58 pace, so that's really, really slow. For a centre-back, it's way too slow, and for a full-back, it's even worse here. So I'm not playing Vertongen because he is so slow. Uh, then I want to say something about Alderweireld. Also, Alderweireld is not that fast. He only has 62 pace. It's a bit faster than Vertongen is, but his defensive, um, his defensive stats are pretty good, of course. And yeah, that is uh, yeah, composing something about his pace. And you have the Neyer, who is really fast with 76 pace. It's pretty fast for a center back. So I really like to have at least one fast center back. And yeah, it would be nice if the other one is fast too. If you really like to have two fast center backs, I will recommend to put Boyata on the center back. He's a bit faster than uh, all the world is, but his defensive uh, stats are a bit lower. So. Yeah, keep that in mind if you are choosing your uh, your lineup. I play all the world, but if you like a faster center back, you can put Boyata over there. Uh, Castagne can play as a left defender. That's what uh, I was talking about. Uh, he has the high defensive work rate, so that's pretty good for a uh, fullback, of course. Medium attacking rate. And yeah, also his defensive stats are not that bad for a left defender. So he has. Now, he is not super fast, but he has enough pace. And yeah, there is no better option, in my opinion, than this guy. So then we go to the right midfielder. I choose Carrasco. Uh, De Bruyne and Witzel are the central midfielders. De Bruyne is playing as a, yeah, more like a box to box player, the most attacking one. Witzel is playing as the most defensive one. And then on the left side, we have Hazard. Uh, Aiden Hazard, of course, the other Hazard is on the bench. Uh, we have Mertens and Lukaku as the strikers. Then we're going to the tactics. I choose balanced defensive style with a width of four bars and a depth of four bars. Offensive style, fast build-up with a width of seven bars. Plays in the box, seven bars. Corners and free kicks, both three bars. So the fast build-up is pretty good with these players because you have two amazing central midfielders with Witzel, pretty good passer and De Bruyne. Maybe the best passer in this game. Uh, also, yeah, he is a box-to-box -box player with a high, high attacking and defensive work rate. So he is really important in this squad. And with the fast build-up, look for a secure passing. The players, especially Carrasco and Azar, are making some really great runs on the side of the field. And De Bruyne is going forward. Also, Mertens and Lukaku are making some great runs. So make sure... You will watch the players making their runs, pass secure, and yeah, create your chances that way. Then we're going to the instructions. I choose Meunier to stay back while attacking. Uh, the two centre-backs are just default. Casting Meunier the same as Meunier, stay back while attacking. Then the right midfielder. I choose uh, getting behind on support runs and get into the box for the cross. So that two things are the only things I changed. Uh, the Bruyne. Stay on the edge of the box for the cross and cover center. Uh, the balanced attack is good for him because he already has the high, high work rate. So he's moving forward himself if you have the ball and he is coming back 
himself if you lose the ball. Uh, then we have Witzel. Witzel has the medium medium work rates, and I want him to, uh, yeah, to be a bit on the back on the midfield. So stay back while attacking and get uh, get into the box. Well, it's not good. Stay on the edge of the box for the cross and cover center. Uh, then we're going to Hazard. Get him behind and get into the box for the cross for him. Uh, Merton stay central and get in behind, and then we have. Lukaku, the only thing I change for him is stay central. So that's it for Belgium. I hope you will try it out. And of course, I hope you will win with this because that's why I'm making these videos to help you guys out. And hopefully you can win. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.